What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It is June 9th and yesterday it was half and half on happiness with me. The one half of happiness was that the Giants ended up beating the Colorado Rockies. I'll talk about that for a second after this but then the ha the sadness that is coming from one happiness and one sadness is that the Warriors ended up losing and they are finding themselves behind against the Boston Celtics two to one. So what happened in that, I actually wasn't able to watch it because I had a practice. So that was a bummer, but I was taking a glimpse on my phone every couple like times that I got a break just to see the Warriors score. And pretty much the whole time, actually the whole time I saw them down. And so that obviously, it didn't get in my head, but I was like, oh darn. So then I ended up seeing, as soon as my practice ended, I ended up seeing the last like two minutes and that that didn't do anything. I wish I didn't see it because that's when the Warriors ended up losing and the Boston Celtics won. So with that being said, I did end up looking at highlights and man, there's a couple things that went wrong. So Jordan Poole right now, I'm not sure what's up with him, but all of a sudden he can't shoot. I'm not sure. I think that all the people and all the players that I'm about to name right now will end up having a good game tomorrow on Friday. But Right now, in that last game, I noticed that Jordan Poole was not able to hit his shots very well. Draymond Green ended up having the crowd get to his head, and they were saying all these different things. And he had one of his worst games, I feel like, in the playoffs. I mean, he wasn't able to defend, and he had quite a bit of open looks that he could have shot, and he was scared or something, so he just passed. I'm not sure what his deal was with that. And then Steph Curry did not have his best game, and then not only that... But now, I mean, I guess they're not releasing the MRI or he's not getting an MRI because the Warriors don't want to know what it is. And they plan on him being there on tomorrow's game. But apparently he is sore and something happened and he might be hurt or something like that. But I know that they talked with Steve Kerr about it. Steve Kerr is very positive that the Warriors will end up going ahead and having a good game tomorrow and end up having Steph Curry in there and he's positive that all three of those players that I just named will end up having good games tomorrow. So hopefully he's right about that. Now going on to the Giants, well the Giants ended up winning and they're kind of struggling though. They're going against the Colorado Rockies who I'm going to say it again, they are getting a they are definitely a better team this season, but if you're at home, you want to take at least 2 of 3 from the Rockies. And so they lost the first one, but one yesterday in the 10th inning, it was a crazy game. Luis Gonzalez ended up hitting a single that made it that should have been runners at first and third with one out, but ended up having Charlie Blackman actually overrun the ball in outfield, so that made the third base runner, which was Donovan Walton, get to score and go home. And then the Giants ended up winning 2-1, to one, which was amazing because, I mean, I was not expecting that. Tyler Rogers was actually the closer in the ninth inning. He had a good game. Hopefully, he just had that little fluke and was not just, like, bad this season. Hopefully, he just had a couple bad games. And I believe he'll start to get better. It's just his defense has failed him, which the defense for the Giants has been getting a little bit better, but they still are not good, and they got to do something about it. I'm hoping that today, with Logan Webb on the mound, Logan Webb can get a win because he's been struggling. The starting pitchers for the Giants have been struggling. And so, anyways, my player of the game for the Giants is going to actually end up being not a hitter. It's going to be a pitcher, and Alex Wood did pitch very well, and I could give it to him, but I'm actually not going to give it to him. I'm going to give it to Camilo Doval, who ended up having in the extra innings a runner that starts off with that automatic runner at second base and ended up getting past it and didn't actually have that second base runner end up advancing. So that was actually really good. He's going to be my player of the game because if that runner at second had it ended up scoring, then this game could have been a different game. With that being said, I'm going back to the Warriors one more time. I'm not sure who my player of the game is going to be because I, like I said, didn't get to watch it, so I didn't get to really see that much stuff. So it's going to be whoever the high-end scorer is and stuff. So I'm not sure who that was, but hopefully the Warriors can recover. I really do believe they can go ahead and beat the Celtics tomorrow, go back home, and try and finish off this or make it at least go to Game 7. 
I still am really positive, keeping that positive mindset that the Warriors will end up pushing through and end up winning this all and winning the championships because they do have a lot of championships and they know what to do. So hopefully Steve Kerr, I think he does know what he's talking about, obviously, because of how much championships he's brought them to. So with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. Go Giants, go Warriors, and I will see you guys tomorrow.